Okay, my family. I want to take this uh, time to thank you all. Anybody who has visited this site, for all of you that have prayed for my family, for all of you that have clicked the thumbs up, for all you that have subscribed, I want to thank you for all your prayers, for all your love and for all your support, for lifting me up when I was down, for helping me the times when I needed help. I hope you are preparing right now as I am and getting your house in order, both physically and spiritually. I know a lot of you say that it's tough to forgive people who have done us wrong. It's tough to forget. But you know what? It was tough for me to do that as well until I turned it over to Jesus Christ. When I turned it over to him and I told him that I was having a hard time letting it go, he took it from me. He took it from me and he shouldered that burden as he will with each and every one of you. Surrender to him. The more that we surrender to him, the more that we empty ourselves of self, the more that he can fill us with the Holy Spirit of God. I, want, I took this time to thank you all because I don't know when, but I know a time is coming when our voices will not be heard anymore on the internet. I know that the powers that be, if they had it their way, no one would be able to speak the name of Jesus. And those days are really coming. When those times come, do not trust in the government. Do not trust in man. Put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Listen to his still small voice and he will tell you what you should do. If we are still here at that time, and I pray that we are found worthy to escape the things to come upon this earth, but it's in his timing which is perfect and it's in his will. I know some of us will be left here. I know some of us will choose to stay here in order to bring in the harvest. And I know that some of us will go home. I pray that whatever it is that he has for you to do, that you know that no matter what, he will be there with you. I had a reoccurring dream as a child. And in this reoccurring dream, we were all giving praise and thanks to Jesus Christ. We were all singing his praises, and it was the most beautiful music I'd ever heard in my, in my life. And he was seeking volunteers for a mission and I wasn't the first to volunteer. But when I did volunteer, he would. I remember part of his speech was that it won't, we won't be gone for that long and he will always be there with us. And I do believe that a lot of us have volunteered for what is coming and for the parts that we will play and bring in the harvest. And I have no fear, for I know he is with me. I know that when I needed him the most, he's always been by my side. All I had to do was be still to hear him. Even in times of trouble, when I was a child, I was almost abducted more than once. And I remember one of the times that I was being abducted, or about to be abducted, somebody ran me off the road when I was riding my bicycle to the local Circle K. 
And they said, they appealed to my greed. And they said, oh, oh, we're so sorry. Let's put your bike in the back and we'll go get you a brand new bike. And uh, we're just going to take you to the hospital, check you out, make sure that everything's okay with you. I dusted off my pants, my jeans. And uh, they had ran me off the road coming straight at me. And uh, I heard a voice in my head, you know, you're... There was a voice that said, you know, thinking in your head, your your greedy thoughts, the flesh that said, you know, if you put your bike in the back of their car, you're going to get a brand new bike. You could go with them and they're going to get you a brand new bike. And I heard a voice, a real voice that said, if you put your bike in the back of that truck, you will never see your family again. And I know that voice was the Holy Spirit of God. And as soon as I heard that voice, I jumped on my bike and I took off in the opposite direction and I pedaled as fast as I could to get home. It's a shame what some people do, how they hurt our children, how they sell them and use them as currency, how they take their young blood full of adrenaline and use it as a drug and use it to stay young longer I know and I've prayed many days that God would come and save all the children that he would punish the wicked for what they have done to our children. I know that as it gets darker, we're going to see more and more. I've already seen people in my daily driving do the meanest thing to other people. Cut them off. Do the brake check in front of them. Flip them off. It's like we've forgotten our humanity. We've forgotten our, morale, our morals. We've forgotten how to be decent people. I know that it's because they're filled with hate. They're filled with they're programmed from watching TV shows of how they should act. Don't let nobody get over on you. You have to get them back. Oh, if someone's coming after you and they do something to you, you got to get them back twice as hard. We have to be able to forgive. We have to be able to pray for our enemies. We have to be able to get our houses in order, our spiritual houses as well. I know that it's hard to forgive some people of some things. I know that when we feel that we've been hurt and trust and we've given them a second chance and they've done it again, that we feel like, oh, there's no way I can forgive. But that burden is weighing you down. That burden is making you sick. You need to release it. You need to come to the feet of Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior, and tell him it's too much for you to bear. And tell them to take this burden from you. The more burdens that we turn over, the more surrender that we surrender to him and complete surrender, the more he can fill us with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit of God. The more that we become in tune with what he wants for our lives. I pray you would all realize this. And I pray that you who, who don't would at least give it a shot to get on your knees before him. And turn over your burdens to him. And ask him to lead your steps. Ask him to lead your steps this day so others might see his light shine through you. His light of mercy, grace, love, and forgiveness. I have a message today from our sister, Julie Webby. And the other day I saw a video. I'll put the link 
in the description box of uh was in Mexico it was taken on a camera from in Mexico and it actually showed a a red planet in the horizon and her video it goes pretty much with her video that I saw today for her blog urgent prepare do not wait vision of planet x nibiru the destroyer is near this message is in three segments that the father is now having me release as one message it is also my understanding that there will be more than one period of darkness on earth the judgment of nibiru is one of the times the earth will experience darkness there are other prophecies that speak of comets and volcanoes causing darkness as well. We can only see in part, and Father is not telling me which particular judgment is imminent, but the judgment is here. And the urgency grows each and every day. Do not be slack in your pre preparations. These are perilous times. Put on the full armor of God. We cannot underestimate what is upon us. To do so could mean eternal separation from Father. It is also important as well that we do not hyper-focus on the details of any one particular judgment, but rather focus on staying prepared spiritually as the judgments come. There's a special note here that this is not a notice for the three days of darkness that she has spoken about in the past. The warning will come at some point, but it is not now. We are remained focused only on Jesus the Messiah. Make sure our oil lamps are filled and our wicks are trimmed, and that we are ready to respond at a moment's notice. His peace that suppresses, that transcends all understanding. Here's the vision. In the early morning of November 27, 2018, I was shown Planet X Nibiru during a night vision. I suddenly heard a voice in the spirit say to me, Look over there. It is here. The time is now. I looked out at the horizon and saw a massive planet coming up from the horizon, red and fiery, much, much larger than any planetary body has ever been seen in the past with the naked eye. It was approaching the Earth at such an incredible speed and completely full of fire from what I could see. I knew what this meant, but as I looked around the neighborhood where I happened to be with my family, no one else seemed to understand. Many people were panicking, some screaming and dropping to the ground. Many others were running to get inside their houses, calling on their children and animals to get inside. I also knew instinctively from what Yahushua has taught me in the past that we were to cover the windows, not open them or look out, or open the doors during the time that this planet was passing, which would be for three days and three nights. In my spirit, I had the understanding that very, very few people on earth were prepared, physically or spiritually. After my family and I had gone inside and covered everything, I was suddenly taken outside the earth in the spirit and found myself looking at the earth as well as this planet from space. In an instant, as the fiery red planet was hurtling towards the earth, Satan appeared in front of me, mocking, King Mashiach, Ye King Mashiach Yehushua, King Messiah Jesus, by wearing a royal-looking robe and crown. A diadem of some sort was on his forehead, and he was acting as if he was king of all creation. He was sneering and laughing. As he watched the planet rushing towards the earth, I then saw thousands upon thousands of demons being thrown from this planet and heading towards earth to torment mankind. They looked like black ants, and they were literally being thrown down towards the earth by the thousands. Then Yahushua appeared directly in front of the earth and Satan. He was many times larger than Satan and was attired in his royal and majestic robe, crown, and scepter. As he appeared, there was a massive thunderclap in the heavens that resounded all throughout the universe, and all things shook violently. With one stern and fierce look from his eyes, his presence caused Satan to instantly vaporize. I had the understanding that although Father is present here on earth to protect all those who are choosing him and living for him, he is allowing untold number of demons to come to the earth as judgment against the wicked and unrepentant. I felt I was holding my breath at the sheer power and might of our king. Yahushua, in a moment, the vision ended. 
As I have always asked, please pray and ask the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding about any messages or visions I post from Yahushua. It is my role and position to present the information and revelations I am given, and it is your position to search out the scriptures and seek his truth. The message below was given to me back in the summer of 2016, and I was not to release it until given permission from the Father. Now is the time. Let all those who have ears to hear listen to our Father and Creator. Yahushua speaks. My child, I have shown this vision again so you will warn my people. The destroyer this planetary body I spoke of previously is nearing. It is in your solar system and very near to your sun. The governments of the world have been well aware of his existence and approach for some time. But it has always been their plan to deceive the people and cause them to be unprepared. This is not its first approach to the earth. For if you read my word, you will see that this planetary body has come through many times during biblical history. I have given revelation and insight to Sun regarding past three events of its arrival from my word and the coinciding effects which will be used as judgments on this earth to cause men to run their hearts and give their lives to me. Expect and prepare for numerous large earthquakes, floods, and tidal waves. The splitting and cracking of the earth in many places and severe and chaotic weather patterns. Fire will fall from the sky. As I continue to war, warn, nothing as is, as is, is as it seems. I do not send these warnings to cause fear and panic, rather to show mercy to my creation, as the warnings are intended to cause you to understand that I am the only one who is your safe place. I am the only one that you need to turn to for counsel. The man-made systems of this world will not provide for you, nor will they protect you, for they do not know me, and their motives are only wicked. Woe to those who do not take these warnings seriously, and who ridicule the chosen ones who have been selected to deliver these messages. I am the designer of all thoughts and intentions of all hearts, and I will visit you with a recompense due you. Trust in me as your Savior and Redeemer, and choose where you will spend eternity. Seek first my kingdom and righteousness, and allow me to take care of the rest. I received this on March 9th, 2019. I heard in the Spirit three times, the destroyer and ears. I asked Father for confirmation that now was the time to post the vision and the warnings. He confirmed that it was the time and added the message below. The destroyer nears its path predestined, its course is sure. Nothing can alter that which has been ordained. It brings great darkness, hordes of evil, chaos, and destruction. The signs you have been given, warning of its approach are everywhere. Men refuse to accept what the heavens have already declared. What has been shall be again. I will purge the earth by fire. Your spirits must not rest as it is the only way to be truly prepared. What man considers important today will tomorrow by be a distant memory. The weight of sin and lack of repentance draws fierce judgment now as my warnings have not been received with humility and obedience. The cries of the defiant will not be heard. In the midst of it all, I will do wonders among my remnant, and there will be no denying I am that I am. Let those who have ears to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying. Please take this to the Father for the sermon and do what is necessary to prepare yourselves completely spiritually. This is most important. Then prepare physically as you are led and able. Repent and ask for forgiveness and forgive all those who have sinned against you in this life. If you have not already done so, surrender all to the Father and ask for mercy on your soul now. Glory to God in the uh -huh. highest, my family, I've got to tell you. Once again, Father God has put on my heart what has put here in this message. I did not read the message prior to saying what I stated before I even started reading the message. I don't ever read the message first before I give it. I ask the Holy Spirit of God to lead me and guide me in all truth and understanding. And then he gives me words to say before each and every message that I give. Sometimes he brings things back up to my memory. I can tell you I have seen the Red Mount Planet myself. In a vision, I have seen it, and when it comes, it brings fear upon men's hearts. 
I was up on the top of a building, a very tall building, and I saw the red planet. And I saw everybody running around frantic and screaming. I felt a, f a sense of fear and dread that was palpable. You could taste it, the coppery feel in your mouth. I saw this planet and uh, I pray for all and I ask each and every one of you to put on your armor of God daily and I don't bring these words to you to cause fear for our risen King and Savior does not bring fear he gives us peace and a sound mind he tells us things ahead of time so what then they so that we might prepare and that when they come to pass those who we told might then believe upon his his name and his word i pray for each and every one of you you are as mean as much to me as my own family here in my home i love each and every one of you Father God in heaven, please put your holy fire hedge of protection round about us all, on each and every side, above us and below us. Cover our entire family. Please cover our homes and our vehicles, our places of work and worship, our pets and our provisions, our children, their schools and their activities. I pray that you would cover us from all electronics that are eavesdropping on our conversations and hide us from our enemies. Please grant us discernment and wisdom in these days, Father, so that we know who to trust. So we know your word from the enemies. So we know your truth from his lies. In Jesus' name I pray to our Father who art in heaven. Your will be done in your perfect timing. For your ways are so much higher than our ways. And you work all things out for the good of those who love you and are called upon you. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, amen and amen. God bless you all, my family.